especially in some place like the Met stage as a young person just beginning their career, I mean, it, it can really freak you out. I mean, I was totally nervous. I walked out on stage, I was like, I'm not going to be nervous, I'm not going to be nervous. But I walked out there and it started rushing through my mind, you know, who stood here, all these important people, you know, Renee Fleming and Ben Hepner and Maria Callas and Monserrat Caballé and all these people, and you get distracted. <laughs> I have a special, I don't know, connection with it. And I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because I'm obsessed with Montserrat Caballé and Maria Callas, who both sang it. <laughs> but um, I don't know. There's just something about, about that aria that I feel a special connection with. <laughs> they portrayed such emotion when they sang, especially Callas. Whenever she sang, you could just feel like she was just singing from the bottom of her soul. And I, I, I mean, I tried to try to convey the same thing. I don't know if it always comes across, but. I'm not the world's best actress. <laughs> Maybe I'm just down on myself. I don't know. I mean, it's, I think it's something that I could definitely improve on. Are you comfortable with tempo? Um, can we do just, just slightly, slightly slow. slower? Okay, I just don't I want my color tour to get away from me. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I think that the ways that they're trying to bring in new audiences is great. Personally, affects me in a way where they're wanting to get away from hiring people who have some sort of a, a weight issue, <laughs> which affects me. Hopefully, I'm that won't hinder me from having a career. Very good. Great. Anything else? Not much. I don't want to get you tired. Okay. But I think that they need to keep the great voices out there and not choose people who look the part but can't necessarily sing as well. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs>